You guys, ProPublica's latest investigation on Israel, humanitarian aid to Gaza, and Secretary of State Antony Blinken is revelatory. Listen up. Two major U.S. authorities concluded this spring that Israel had violated international law and deliberately blocked deliveries of food and medicine into Gaza. The government bodies told Secretary of State Antony Blinken and other top officials in President Joe Biden's administration. Under U.S. law, Biden would be required to cut off weapons shipments to Israel. By the way, Israel has depended on American bombs and other weapons in Gaza since Hamas's October 7 attacks. But instead of heeding these internal findings, Blinken sided with the Israelis, who promised they would help facilitate aid into Gaza. Then, Blinken went on to tell Congress, We do not currently assess that the Israeli government is prohibiting or otherwise restricting the transport or delivery of U.S. humanitarian assistance. Weeks before he said that, the U.S. government's two foremost authorities on humanitarian assistance came to a conclusion that was pretty much the opposite. One of the agencies, the U.S. Agency for International Development, sent a detailed 17-page memo listing all the times Israel had interfered with efforts to send aid to Gaza, including instances of killing aid workers, raising agricultural structures, bombing ambulances and hospitals, sitting on supply depots, and routinely turning away trucks full of food and medicine. Life-saving food was stockpiled less than 30 miles across the border in an Israeli port, with enough flour to feed 1.5 million Palestinians for five months, the memo said. But at the time, the Israeli government wouldn't let flour into Gaza, saying the United Nations Palestinian branch that would receive the flour had alleged ties to Hamas. In April, the head of the State Department's Bureau of Population, Refugees, and Migration also determined that Israel had blocked humanitarian aid and concluded that the government should freeze the $830 million in taxpayer money earmarked for weapons and bombs to Israel, according to emails obtained by ProPublica. The UN has declared famine in parts of Gaza. Some of the world's leading aid experts have found that nearly half of all the Palestinians in Gaza are struggling with hunger. Many go days without eating, and dozens of children have starved to death, which is likely a significant undercount. Healthcare workers are battling lack of immunizations, and sewage lines are overflowing into the water supply. A case of polio has also been confirmed. USAID said in its 17-page memo to Blinken that the looming famine in Gaza is due to Israel's arbitrary denial, restriction, and impediment of U.S. humanitarian assistance. Despite that, and evidence presented by local diplomats, the U.S. ambassador to Israel, Jack Lew, urged Biden to look past the Israelis' record and trust their promise to follow international law and help deliver aid to the Palestinians. U.S. law requires the government to cut off weapons shipments to countries that prevent the delivery of U.S.-backed humanitarian aid. USAID's evidence, the conclusion of the Refugees Bureau in April, the efforts of the diplomats at the embassy, and other government statements and decisions reveal how the highest ranking American diplomats have justified continuing to flood Israel with arms over the objections of their own experts.